Jenny of the Woods. While in the area around the village of Midcopes, Geralt decided to look around and see if there wasn't anyone who needed to, in need of Witcher. It just so happened there was. On a local notice board hung an offer of a bounty for ridding the area of a monster called Jenny of the Woods. Geralt decided that this was something he should look into. So this is a thing where... I think this episode I'm going to spend a lot of time exploring, heading south in particular, try to, discuss, try to go to the, some of those towns with notice boards that I haven't actually visited yet. But I, I, I figure I'll do the same thing I did uh, previously, where I'm going to do a contract I have access to right away. Just so, we have, we, I, just so I can say I did something this episode. I should not be looting that right in front of people. Also, <laughs> I'm so used to being in, in abandoned towns where I can just randomly loot everything. Granted, no one noticed, and uh, oddly enough, uh, they had a meteorite ore just sitting around there. Why does... Why does the Elderman have that? Also, I totally missed the gate over here. There we go. All right, Elderman of, of uh, Midcopes, talk to me. His name is Bolko. If for our fair helpers ruling the wilds, we'd have starved long past. Greetings. What do ye want? About that contract. Changed your mind, have ya? Let's talk rewards. Hmm. Oh, yeah. So... How much would ye wish? No, oh, have it your way. I'm on it. Know if anyone's seen Jenny of the Woods? Could tell me more about her. Old Willem must have. But he won't tell you naught. He were weak of heart. We found him in the fields this morning. Other folk are afeard to go out nights. But you might try Agneta. Lives at the end of the village. Word is she saw the wraith. And nothing happened to her? She wasn't hurt? Agneta? Outlived three husbands, that one. Jenny of the Woods won't do naught to that wench. Oh, that white one. <laughs> what a response. We just had a whole conversation about Jenny of the Woods and everything, and then he, out of nowhere, he has his one of his randomly, uh, one of his random reactions, like, Yo, that white one! Am I out of his line of sight right now? Oh, it's just a doll. I'm not gonna risk it for a doll. If it weren't for our fair elders ruling the wilds, we'd have starved long. You just said that, you silly man. All right, let's look at the elderman. So I think this. He said, "Change your mind, have you?" So I think I think that's the guy I talked to several episodes ago. And then I was like, "Oh crap, this isn't what what I was trying to do." And then because I realized I was accidentally starting a level 12 quest or something in the ballpark, and I was probably level four or five at the time. Why are you so cruel? Wraith that haunts the village. Heard you can tell me about it. Oh, I, I saw her. Saw Jenny of the woods with my own eyes. Like I see you now, Witcher. What did she look like? In detail, please try. Truth be told, I didn't see her too clearly. It, it were growing dim, see? And this pale shape loomed afore me, mist-like. I comes closer, and the cloud thickened, and something like a visage came out of the mist. What did you do? What do you think, me love? That I'd wait to see the wraith in full glory? Ran to the village to tell folk what I'd seen! I see. So she appeared to you just after twilight? Important clue, thanks. You take care now. <laughs> I love how back- how fast she went back on herself. She's like, I saw her clear as I can see you right before me! And then she's like, oh, truth be told, I didn't see them that clearly. It's like, well, way to go back on your word immediately. It's like, maybe she just has bad eyesight. Hello, merchant. Should check on them with you real quick, Nebula, just because... Azor, some tortoise shells. I don't want your tortoise shells. I want to see if you have Gwent cards. What else you have on offer? Wait, should I just play... Maybe I should just play Gwent with you right now. Tried remedies for trying times. Show you a trying time. Ooh, this is the guy that sells all the jewels. I think I've seen him before. Yeah, he sells... A bunch of, di bunch of different jewelry for incredibly high prices, so I'm not exactly... In a big hurry to grab it. But he sells no Guardian Empire cards. Unit card strength one oh Northern Realms. Close combat. Oh, it's the poor fucking infantry. I'm somewhat tempted to be like, let's have an army of poor fucking in infantry. Because if if they if, if you have a warhorn and those guys doubling, they they're uh they're immune to they're immune to uh, nature basically, but I don't know how many of them would have to double up with each other in order to even work, make that work. Anyway, he's only worth 20. At this point, I'll just buy a lot of cards just when I see them for cheap. 
And I don't, I'm not in a hurry to sell him anything. Bye. Oh, let's play Gwent. I haven't played Gwent lately. Let's we'll, play cards. We'll do it at the I beginning of an episode back. for a change. Some people are like, play Gwent every episode. And so far, no one's ever been like, play Gwent never. So that's a good sign. These are mostly weapons I'm not in a... These are mostly things I'm not in a big hurry to have in my deck, necessarily. Do I just, do I want to just keep them out? Yeah, I already have two decoys in my, in my deck. And I don't think I have enough of anything to make other de decks work better. Penetrable Fog. Biting Frost. Doubles the strength of siege weapons. I think I like the idea of having clear all weather effects. Because that 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 leads to, that leads to some uh, let's say clarity of mind. Because when I'm putting all these crazy enemies down that are really powerful, my biggest worry is what if what if he does something that that makes so my cards don't work properly. So yeah, just feeling safe about it is handy. I think. All right, I'll try to make this one fast. It's probably something I should never say because I'll just prove myself wrong. Starting hand, decoy. Always happy to see that. Biting frost, clear weather. Probably don't need that one. I have a spe I have a special effect for clear weather. In fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of that. And in a three round game, the likelihood I'll need to use clear weather twice is low. Oh, a double decoy. That also might be bad to have that that many. Yeah, I have four non unit cards in my hand right now, which could be bad. This guy has four power. F I mean, two, four, four. This is a tight bond. It's strong with other cards of its type, but we don't have it. Ooh, a medic. Medic's handy because it'll bring back a previous card. I'm gonna get rid of a decoy. I think I have too many decoys in my hand since we are, since we also have a medic, especially. I really want to draw a spy. I drew the spy. Holy shit. What's the, what's the chances of that? So now I have a medic. What's he doing? A ghoul. That's a new one for me. Oh, he's playing a monster deck. I've never seen that before. All right, so. I have a spy, which lets me draw two more cards. Yeah, Dr playing him lets me draw two more cards. If I play him in a specific way that, that where he's weak, then he'll it'll be especially effective. I have a decoy to get a card off the board, and I have a medic to p draw a previous card. If I use the spy and then use the medic to get the spy back in my hand to play the spy again, I will have a four card advan advantage on my opponent uh, as far as the overall flow of the game goes. But it does, does of course. Put me in a bad situation where I'm putting a melee character in his range. What's the ghoul do? I've never seen that before. Ghoul. If ghouls are part of the circle of life, then it's a damn vicious circle. His ability is muster. Find any cards with the same name in your deck and play them instantly. So it... Oh, so if you have a ghoul, then you can go through your deck and just keep playing ghoul cards, apparently. Which must mean that he doesn't have any more ghoul cards in his deck to play. His ability... Is, okay, he is Eridan. Commander of the Red Riders. That's the guy that's chasing Siri, I think. Go on, show me your spines, pirouettes, and feints. Oh, spins, pirouettes, and feints. And, and feints. I want to watch. Yeah, show me your stupid dance before I chop off your head. Uh, I thought I, I, I said I, I thought sh uh, show me your spines because he's a scary skeleton man look, looking thing. Leader ability: pick any weather card from your deck and play it instantly. Oh, wow. It's a good thing I have a thing that undoes weather effects, because he is going to be especially capable of using them. Alright, we need to pick a starting card. I should probably start low. I don't want to outpace my enemy too much if he's playing low, low power cards, because then I'm just wasting power. Yeah, I think bets are off a little bit on me on this being a fast game if he's playing a whole new deck, because I'm going to want to read the cards. Gargoyle. Ancient sculptor's nightmarish fantasies brought to life by board mages. He's ranged. I wouldn't expect a gargoyle to be ranged. Okay. He's at three power. I'm out of low lo I'm out of low power cards at this point. Let's see. I'm kinda curious about whether or not I could just make him give up if I played my uh if I played this catapult, maybe I could just make him give up? I don't know. Let's let's play the spy because it'll make me draw more cards for my hand. Is there a hand limit in this game? I don't actually know. But if I play him, I'll draw more cards. And if I fight, and I feel like if if I think it gets too powerful, I can do Biting Frost to weaken the uh, melee characters anyway. And then I can draw him back into my hand with the medic next game, next match. All right, enjoy this card, guy. Look at you having a lead. 
I'm gonna go ahead and play non-melee cards next. Since, uh, oh, he's playing more melee cards, cool. Is he gonna muster more Neckers? Oh, he is. All the more reason for me to play Biting Frost to weaken his deck into oblivion soon. Necker. Damned things are almost cute if you ignore the whole vicious killer aspect. Also have the muster effect. Two different two different Im images. I like the detail that they even have, like almost like limited run style stuff. This is the guy I drew. I drew a, uh, I drew a siege expert of all characters. I think I drew a siege expert and fog. That's not the most impressive out turn for that card. Oh wait, that's a problem. So I played a I played a spy on his side. Does that mean he goes into his? I don't- I, I think he might go into his graveyard instead of mine. If he, if he goes into, my, into his graveyard, then the medic won't work on him. Oh, I didn't think about that. Oh well. Biting Frost. There we go. Even this, even things up a little more, but not that much, because he still does have a ton of monsters and I have, like, none. Oh, he passed with only six power. I can use this. Alright, and I haven't even used my decoy yet. Let's see, what, what can I use the decoy on? Only that card. I can't, I can't get my spy back for sure. Okay, so I could get I could get that guy back. Oh man, that's tempting. Oh, so he's down five cards. If I, oh man, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna throw the decoy in to grab this guy. I'm actually just gonna give him this round. And I will have- I have only lost one monster while he's lost five. There you go. Enjoy your victory. I'm gonna take away the next two rounds, because you're not gonna have shit to play. One randomly monster card that stays on the board? Oh. So he kept one of them. That's less good. What? Why would he pass on the first turn? That's really strange. What the f fuck's happened with the AI? Okay, well... I mean, I guess I'll just play someone, because whoever I play, I can summon back with the with my medic. I'll go ahead and do this guy, I guess? For reasons? Alright. Bye. I won the round. That was weird decision of the AI. Wait. He keeps someone on the board every game? Weird. Oh well, I drew an additional card as a result of my victory. Now I have two of these guys. The... Crinford Reaver's Dragon Hunter. Haven't had much luck with monsters of late, so we enlisted. They get double power, so I'll go ahead and just start playing them next to each other. And I'm just gonna fill the board with the monsters. There's no reason he should be able to win, unless he has some crazy card that has effects that I've never heard of. Or also those bolster effects could be nasty if he keeps if he draws too many monsters from his deck. Vampire Ekimara. Those aren't so hard. I beat one of those when I was getting my Griffin gear last two episodes ago. Who would think overgrown bats would have so much chase for gaudy jewelry? All right, let's let's do double power. Probably baiting out him giving me a fog effect or something. But I have 20 power now, dude. Better do something about that. A fork tail. That one has no special effects. Let's see here. Fork tails. Bah! Fuckers, tails are more than, like, cleavers. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and play my medic. To draw a card from my, uh, gr my gra- that's the only card- that's the only card in my graveyard. Wow. Alright. Bam. Now I have 29 power. What are you gonna do with your tiny hand? Unless you have a ton of nature cards to play. There's a werewolf. Werewolf. Wolves aren't as bad as they say. Werewolves, though, they're worse. That's the same quote that the, uh, Codex entry had. Okay. I guess I'll just start playing... Uh, we'll do melee next, I guess. There's no particular order. I'm just gonna start spamming the, the board with debt with stuff. What could be nasty is if he, if he has a bunch of nature cards, I could be in trouble. What a nasty little shit. Alright. Botchling. Admit your mistakes and bury them proper, else they'll come back to haunt you. This is actually a decent introduction to some of the monsters in this game if you haven't seen them before. But I'm pretty sure I fought a Forktail outside that one lighthouse last episode. We fought werewolves in the story, we fought that Ekamara when I was getting the griffin, and we, the botchling was part of the red 
The botching was part of the Red Baron storyline. I don't think I've found a gargoyle yet, though. Alright, uh... Play a siege weapon, and then next turn we can make the, the uh, siege weapons more powerful. Alright, Torrential Rain, he's weakening my... Oh, he's weakening my, uh, siege weapons. It's not gonna do that much to me, though. Alright, let's make my siege weapons more powerful. Ta-da! I'm waiting till the end of the turn so that I can destroy... Yeah, he's gonna play another... Yep, there we go. He's trying really... Oh, he actually successfully took the lead. Unfortunately for him, I brought this leader along, so it's not gonna work on me. Just gonna go ahead and keep playing monsters, though. I'm gonna use the, uh, horn. Oh, I've oh wow, yeah. That's him doing it on all three turns. It's definitely good. Oh, no, he's he's losing. I was gonna say, it's definitely good I chose this character, otherwise I actually could have lost this, despite my really good strategy, as far as I can tell. Let's see. It doesn't say anything about... It doesn't say it doesn't work on Warhorns, but I thought it didn't work on Warhorns. Maybe it does. I don't... Oh, wait, no. Oh, the Siege, the siege version of my, of my leader doesn't work when you have a Warhorn played. Alright. Gonna play a Warhorn on these guys, because they're the most powerful stack. And then I'm gonna clear weather effects and see if I'm beating them by 60 or something. My opponent has passed. Alright, let's play my leader's card. I'm already winning, but I want—I just want to see how powerful I'm going to be if I use my leader card. Clear all any weather effects from the board. Ta-da! How much did I win by? Seventy to twenty. Suck it, world. The funny thing is, I could play fog, but that would be—that would just weaken my toughest row because this this row has forty-eight total, and this one has sixteen, and that one has six. Yeah, I pretty thoroughly trounced that entire match. So clearly I'm gonna forfeit. <laughs> Thank you for the victory. What's now give me my card. What do you got? I could he probably he's probably gonna give me some sort of cool monster card, right? What do I get? The Vreheg Brigade Recruit. What is that? Vreheg Brigade Recruit. He's not in this. He's not northern. So should tell. There he is. The Vrehead Brigade re re Recruit. Hatred burns brighter than any fire and cuts deeper than any blade. It's just a, it's just a standard four power ranged character. I'll, I'll certainly add him to that deck. We only ha we have like no cards in this deck anyway, so he definitely needs to start filling it in. One day I'll be able to use other decks, but for now, it'll just be that one. I have no one to use my monster deck so far. That's kind of why I was happy to be fighting someone who uses a monster deck, so I was like, oh, cool. I'll get a monster card then, because that's how most games tend to work, but... I don't know. I guess he he must have several decks, too, and just would th and just threw something at me that he doesn't want to deal with anymore. Anyway, we had an experience. Now let's look... <laughs> get back to Jenny of the Woods. Howdy, y'all. Oh. Oh, there's something. A woman came through here, barefoot. It must be Jenny of the Woods! Or something. Oh, what's that? A piece of fabric, possibly from a dress, got snagged on the undergrowth. Stride indicates she was running. Probably why she tore her dress. Somebody chase her? Watch out, he might be- he might actually be a genius. Someone tore a dress while running. Incredible. All right, let's follow the path as best I can, because it's a little hard to make out sometimes in this blurry-ass zoomed-in view. <laughs> Careful. Oh. There it is. Where are we going? Where's Jenny? I want to... Ooh. That's not, that's not good for someone. Couldn't outrun her pursuer. He stabbed her or slit her throat. Strange. Left the knife behind. Dried blood on it. Could come in handy. Drag the body through here. Clear trail. That is a weird thing to do with a knife. Alright. Let's see if there's any... Oops. Inventory. Let's see if there's anything to note about the knife, or is it just... Hey, this cut someone's throat. I don't need to complete a quest. Yeah, I can't even inspect it or anything. Alright. Assassin's knife it is. There's a dragging motion in this direction. 
That's a weird pattern for a dragging motion. You'd expect it to be a long streak or something. That was probably harder to tile as a texture, though. There's wolves nearby, but I'm, I'm hoping that they just don't aggro on me while I do this. Ooh, there's a question mark over there. Might want to investigate what Loved that is. The body all the way to the woods, buried it here. Shallow grave. Murderer must have been pressed for time. Something sticking out. A letter. All right. That's probably a big deal. Where are you? Where are this letter at? Where this letter at? There we go. Letter found in a grave. Even though I told him I don't want to know him. I know you're not afraid of Bokai, but I am. He says he loves me. But it's not the kind of love I have with you. It's a fierce, frightening kind. Bokai won't leave us alone. Ever. We have to run. Leave your reply in the usual your reply in the usual spot. Your Zula. A scorned lover killed the woman, seems to me. Night Wraith. Alderman probably knew the girl. I gotta ask him. Probably on the right track there, but let's take a look at whatever's going- Oh, more deserters. You guys are a little too close to an innocent village over here. Hey guys! Burn! 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 Oh, wow. I completely locked onto the wrong character there. That was weird. I was clearly fighting a different character, and he-, he I was fighting the guy with the uh, halberd with my weapon, and then my character decided to lock on with the, to a completely different person with my attack. Oh, hello, surprise wolf. How you doing? Don't mind me, I'm just taking out some, some nasty humans. You should thank me, I'm clearing out your turf. That wolf totally just took off. That was a weird thing for a wolf to do. Here we go. Lots of Novigrad weapons. Not a whole lot else going on. Cold white wolf hide. Blades from the bits. Uh, enough guarding lemon, lager, tracker's gauntlets and crowns. Probably not worthwhile equipment now that I have a dedicated Witcher set. But they're probably just more stuff that I can sell for a decent value. And it's one more potential question mark, uh, erased from the map while we were in the neighborhood. Wow, I, I picked the time- I picked the right time to leave. It looks like an entire pack of wolves showed up on the map right as I was leaving. I saw a whole bunch of dots coalesce on the bodies right when I was leaving. Good timing. Easier to fight a bunch of dumb humans than some wolves. Although they're both pretty easy compared to monsters and really every other option that isn't a wolf or a human. Hello. So you're that white one. Greetings. What do ye want? Zula and Bakai. Did you know them? They must have lived in this village. Good God, he knows? Tis witchery. They disappeared, both of them, into thin air. We've not seen them a week now. I found the girl's grave and a letter. It's clear she rejected Bakai because she loved another. Zula and Ontan, aye. We thought they'd fled north to seek happiness there. Bokai departed round the same time. So that's to mean our Zula's the Wraith. Can't be. Such a good lass. And so pretty. Any idea where they used to meet? Well, can't say for sure. But the young'uns, they go to the clearing, mostly west of the village, past the fields. Zula. Good gods. For our fair helpers ruling the wilds. No way I can hope to lift this curse. Gotta drive the wraith away. And a chance if I can bind it to one spot for a while. Yeah, you're right, Elderman. Of course, pretty people can't become monsters in the Witcher universe. That would be crazy. Those those cor are those the same corpses I just made? Uh, I'll deal with it. I'll I'll just avoid. Corpses could easily just be rabbits. It's just too much. Too much work to court loot everything that's dead in the, in the neighborhood. Alright, here's the lover's meeting spot. Wow. There's a torch and everything still? you think that it wouldn't be like an, an active location. Oh, hi, lady. It's so nice of you to wear clothes. So many people just don't bother anymore. It's starting to get a little weird. Alright, we're gonna want to be ready with Quen. There we go. You're, you're, you're slowed and you're healing me. Thank you. Thanks for the healing. Uh-oh. Here she comes. Burn, bitch! Oh, she did not take much damage there. 
Hey, lady. Burn. Okay. She's damaging. Let's get back to Quen for the healing opportunity real quick. Come on. Give me them hit points real quick. Come on, lady. You know how I like it. Ow. Okay, that's that... Be, uh, the healing doesn't really work as well during the attack where you're actually taking damage. Alright, Beast Jerry. Let's see. Spectres. Jenny of the Woods. It is said true lover's flame is never extinguished. This sad truth is the reason why Zula of Medcopes, whom an, uh, an early death had separated from her beloved, was unable to find peace in the next life, and instead returned to haunt her former environs as a night wraith. Fighting such an apparition is extremely difficult. A Night Wraith will form mirror images of herself to confuse her opponent and aid her in battle. She herself can take on an immaterial form, rendering her invulnerable to blows. The best way to force her out of this state is to set up a trap with the Irden spell, Irden sign, then quickly follow it up with Igni while she is caught. Oh, there we go, Irden Igni. Most important of all, however, is this. Never attempt to fight one in the middle of the night when the moon hangs high in the sky. Oh shit, I was, I was supposed to come here during the day. I made a mistake. Moon dust, specter oil. Oh shit, do I have specter oil on me right now? Did I, f I, I should have put that on. It's too late now. Let's see. Yeah, it's, it's not equipped, is it? Yep, no, I have no specter oil and I fought her in the middle of the night. These are all mistakes. I should have read the note sooner. Still, she, she took some damage. That's promising, right? I'll just set up uh, Eardin. Followed by Igni, I'll pop Swallow, everything that that gives me bonuses to, uh, I'll just keep popping stuff that gives me bonuses to to healing and stamina regeneration. Get in my ear and spell, bitch. Yep. There we go. The damage is happening. The big concern is when the phase change happens midway through the fight, where she becomes harder to fight. Oh crap! Got to pay attention to the ear to see when it when it when it expires like that. Hey, lady. Yep. Oh, she disappeared on me. Where's she at? Let's get a few hit points back. Hey, lady. Come get me. Those were all fake. Okay. Good thing I had this thing set up. Did I take damage? I think I took damage. Is she damaging me? Hit. Does that, is that one also fake? She didn't hurt me. That one's fake. Alright. You're didn't. Uh, back to Quinn. There we go. Ow, shit. Completely missed that. There we go. Not, thanks for the hit, lady. Fear my Igni. Actually, let's do a... Yeah, Igni. Up in the face. Followed up with a quick Quen. This one will be a uh, single cast. There we go. The purpose being to... Uh, oh! First being to just block my next attack that hits me, hopefully. So now she's healing. That's bad. It's quite bad. Yep. Oh, there's the Quen doing what I was hoping it would do. Yep. Alright, is she just continually healing now? Ow. Rude. The fire's not helping me at all. Alright, this is bad. I may have put myself in a tough spot by fighting her at night. If I wait long enough, it'll just become daylight. Haha. -ha. Oh, it's 10.30 p.m. It's the beginning of the night. I'm fucked. I'm totally fucked. My Igni's not even helping me in this fight. Which is weird. I'm using- I mean, I'm using the trap. Why isn't that working? Can I- can I- Can I stun it with the- uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, the stun works way better than your didn't. I guess the Irden helps with when she duplicates herself. Oh, yep, there we go. That's why I needed Irden. Because she can make herself incorporeal. Be ready with Quen. Thanks for the hit points, lady. You're so reliable. In your, in your bad decisions. I'm blind. That's rude. Very rude. Alright. But there we go. She's healing, she's healing off of me during this phase. That's good to know. Alright, so if I, if I act fast, I can stop her. Magic trap. Uh, the Axie seems to be a better, be a more, a more effective stun than anything else the game's telling me. Ow. 
hurt. Come on, lady, get into my trap. You're being a problem for me now. You gonna come after me? There we go. Let's get the trap back up. Hey, lady. I made a serious mistake fighting you at night. Alright. Axie's re oh, should be ready in a moment here. Come on. Do some real damage real quick. Ah. Uh, this is so problematic. Alright, those are duplicates. They're all trying to heal her. Damage needs to happen. Oh god! Damage happened to me. Alright, lady. Come on. I've done no damage to you. Damn. I might seriously have to, like, flee so that I can try to do fix this problem. Alright, I need my I need my trap up. I should not have used the, the mind spell on her. That was a waste. Quen. Thanks for the quick hit. Axie. There we go. Trying to get her while she has to be corporeal for the moment. Ah, oh, fuck. Alright, yeah, let's try again at the d during the day. I made a terrible mistake by attacking her here. Well, I was wrong. Looks like you, looks like you have to fight this fight. You have, you have to fight them during the day. I mean, you have to fight them during the night, so... I don't know what that warning is. Is it don't fight it when the moon hangs high? Maybe it means... I, I set it for 9 o'clock at night. Maybe we're better at- maybe it's just weaker when it's like barely night time? Man has a lot of hit points, by the way. Alright, magical trap set. Uh, explodes when ignited. Oh yeah. Ow. Put a cloud of that out. Come here, lady. Boom, that did nothing to you. Wow. It said put her- it said get her into the Irden trap, then light her up with Igni. So far, that's doing no damage to her. That seems to just be false information, basically. Ow. Holy shit. That damage can come in fast. Alright. Do what we can to recover. God damn, this is just a tough fight, I guess. There we go, get a quick hit on me. God damn. Yep, she's uh, not particularly vulnerable to taking damage, is she? I think you just have to be in for the long haul, basically. Just keep going for a long time, try not to go down. Just avoid f avoid fatal hits for as long as possible. Doing Axie definitely helped. This time at least I have my Spectre Oil on for 10% bonus damage, which is not... Not exactly infinite bonus damage, but it's something. Oop. I'm trying to be cautious about this. You're a fake one. Oh, you're not a fake one. Shit. Shit. Uh, where is she? Okay, this is, this is when they show up everywhere, trying to heal. No healing? Alright, she got a little bit of healing, but not much. Alright. Eared in again. Just gonna keep ducking in and out really, really rapidly if I can. That's, that seems to work. Avoid giving her a chance to fight- Ow! Th nope, there's her fighting back. Never mind. Alright. If you want to heal me a little bit, that'd be handy. Come on, hit me a few times. There we go. Okay, bad. Rude, in, in fact. Please, bubble. Okay, cool. Come on. There we go. That's what I was going for. Set up our Eardin. Ah, I'm blind. That's not good. Are you sending dupes at me again? Yes, you are. Yitta! God damn, she recovers fast. That's a problem. You have to hit those right away. I should have my fire spell ready next time. Hit. Axie. There we go. Get that mind to stun all prepped in. Oops, wrong button. Axie. Oh, here she goes again. I'll do a quick Quen to defend me from the next blast that hits me. All right, she's she's incorporeal again. Eared in. It seems to be about the only way I can do this. All right, she's gonna do she's gonna multiply. 
Hit one of them with fire right away to reduce healing. There we go. It's about as fast as I can accomplish that. Oh, she's in corporal, isn't she? Oh, critical damage. Ow. Alright, let's get that Quen back up. While we're recovering, prep our Eerden. No, dodge! Alright. This seems, this seems to be just about the best way to do this. There we go. Oh yeah, this is working out. Try to axe it here if I can. There we go. Make her sluggish. Oop, oop. Need to get that Yurden back up. Alright, we got this, we got this. We're doing way better than last time. Last time that thing that happened a lot in Final Fantasy Type-0 was happening to me where like, once I question that maybe this is impossible, I immediately just sort of give up sometimes. Once I once I hit once I think I've hit a mechanic where it's like, oh, right, I fucked up and I have to do something differently to make this possible, I'll sometimes give up altogether. Oh wait, I still have a, I still have a circle to hide in. Oh no, I don't. It's gone. Okay, cool. Do I have Quen on me anymore? Nope. Let's put give myself another Quen so I don't take have a sudden surprise death. Prep our Axie. She dodged. Wow. Oh, well there goes my Quen. Axie. I mean Quen. Oh. Here comes the group attack again. Oh no, not quite. She tried to. Di okay, what's going on here? That's a little confusing. Oh, I lost my ear my ear didn't set that shit up. Oh, okay. Group again. There we go. Oh, I missed her, didn't I? Shit. Is that all of them? No, it's not. She's fucking running away, isn't she? Oh, that's just, oh, that's the real her. Shit. That's the real one. Okay. Set up Eerden for when she approaches. Do I need a Quen? I think I need a Quen. There we go. God, being a spellcaster is fun in this game. Did I just kill? Oh, that was a, that was actually a, a duplicate. I thought I hit I thought I hit her, so I thought she was a duplicate. Oh, I, I, not, wait, I'm not supposed. I used fire on accident. I meant, I meant to use Axie to mind control. To make her susceptible to getting hit a lot. Whenever she's whenever she's stunned like that, I feel secure hitting her more than once. That was a mistake. I don't know why I didn't cast Eerden immediately. <laughs> Quen. Alright. Come on, come into my circle. Now get stunned in my circle. She's basically dead now. Oh. I just tried to stun no one. Alright, I still have Quen up, which is good. One down. Two down. Three down. Eerden. Axie. Oh yeah, I got this. You're stunned, bitch. And now you're dead. Huh. That's a tough fight. Tough fight that I won. Night Wraith Mutagen, Essence of Wraith Dust, Night Wish Night Wraith Hair, Essence, Forgotten Vran Sword, Night Wraith Trophy. What's the true what's the Vran Sword like? Level of the quest means it could potentially be an upgrade. Twelve bonus damage on my relics. Uh, four percent crit bonus, five chance, five percent chance for hit bon uh, five hit. I can't speak. Five percent crit bonus, five fifteen percent crit damage bonus, five ten percent chance to stun. It's a powerful sword, and the bonus damage is tempting. But this one gives me more effective uh, sign intensity. Oh, it's Axie sign intensity specifically. Okay, the fact that there's there's specific to sign. The fact that they're specific to Axie is a little more disappointing. Oh, this is the Gnomish Guer. Oh, right. Never mind, I'll gladly use the stronger weapon then. I forgot that I gathered the, uh... I forgot that I gathered the new, uh... What am I trying to say? We got the, we got the new recipes for the new weapons, but I never actually made them yet. So it doesn't really matter. I'll, I still have to actually craft my, my badass new griffin swords to complete my griffin set. After I find a journeyman, uh, blacksmith, which one, someone said there was another one of them somewhere beside, uh, I, I think other than the area I haven't been to yet. Uh, maybe I'll discover them as I head south. Let's go ahead and just head through here. Alright, buddy. What's my reward? Cause I would very much appreciate a reward right about now. Greetings. What do ye want? 
Jenny of the Woods is gone. Got rid of her. <sighs> She'll not be back? No. I know how to dispatch night wraiths for good. Aye, of course. Your reward as agreed. Many thanks to ye, Master Witcher. Farewell. If our elders ruled in the wilds, we'd have starved long past.